I should just start a counter and put it like up there, like days since last heard from the thousand sunny and the current status of Nami, the uh, poor chopper, Saji, oh, poor Caesar clown and Brooke, like that whole group, man. Oh wait, they have Momonosuke with them too. Like the fact that we haven't gone back is a crime. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus and we're back in the throes of dress roasted today. It's complete chaos. If you want to see my reactions to anything else that's happened prior, just go back. We're going to hop into these. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub and let's get started. I mean, they're a little creepy and large, but how much of a threat will they pose? They are simple looking puppets. Also, where even are we, man? Just on the next level? Like the next plateau? They, they look like super unstable. Like that one just stumbled. They're kind of cool, though. Yeah, I, I feel like it's not going to take a ton, although it's kind of building them up to be. Oh, wait, they're enormous. Damn. I feel like it didn't really it didn't really display it that well, how large they are before. Oh, that's creepy, man. Where did all the mist even come from? Who's got the fog machine? Dude, I keep forgetting about Zoro fighting Pika. Oh my gosh. We really don't go to it enough. I mean, I think Zoro has Pika completely outmatched, to be honest. He hasn't even started using a third blade. <laughs> Dude, even the gasps for air. <laughs> it's funny. It's kind of weird hearing Zoro say straw hat instead of just Luffy. Dude, I guess say he shreds through Pika like butter, man. Like it's nothing. So I think the way to defeat him is to cut him while he's in human form. Like cut his body. Turns to stone, it's just like an escape. Oh my gosh. That's sick! Bro, the three of them flying in! Zoro! Oh no, here we go. He never promised this. <laughs> he won't attack you now because then that leaves an opening for Zoro. Don't worry about it. Zora, you know not to ask questions. Oh, shoot. He slipped away. He's going to pop out of the stone and attack him. Oh, no. Wait, what? <laughs> Dude, wait. His head is on like the actual stone. Oh, he's going to use it. Dude, his head is so tiny. I honestly forgot that he could even use this, to be honest. I think Zoro's is going to go for the head or cut the ar this arm off, too. He definitely could, right? Zoro's gonna do one or the other. Go for that arm or just go for the head. Then Pika loses an entire other arm. That's huge, actually. He uses that every time against, like, giant targets. Wait! The whole thing! Damn! Not even just the arm! He is him! <laughs> Bart's face, man. Wait, he cut Pika! Oh, shoot. Pika, man, have some self-respect, bro. Oh, wait, how? What? That actually like, damaged Pika himself. It literally sounds like a child. Ah, dude, half of it. Not just Luffy and God himself. Bart, oh my gosh, he's like, I know. The greatest swordsman. Does he actually have Pika beat though? He said he's only starting to figure him out. Oh my, oh my gosh. Dude, like he hasn't dropped a sweat the entire time. This is why I've said they, they aren't cutting to Zoro fighting Pika that often. It's because Pika's actually like realistically very outmatched. The revolution! They just gotta get to the door. I said the Tontadas are way stronger. Yeah, they've been able to fight back. They've just been worried about Manchuri. Dude, they're using like forks and knives. That's funny. What? Muji, an aid to the princess. Yeah, where are they keeping her? Buddy is losing it. He didn't have like a like a sort of like prisoner uniform, like the slave uniforms the rest are wearing though. Oh, shoot. Wait, is that where Manchuri is? Oh, who is this? Oh, snacks. Oh, shoot. So, uh, maybe there is someone in this in this factory that's actually going to put up a fight. Oh, the manager of the factory. Whoever the manager is doesn't seem worried about it. Oh, my. 
She had like a tattoo on her arm. Is this like technically an executive of the family? Oh, she's huge. Oh, she's enormous. Oh, interesting. Did we get a name? We don't get a name? She has a vacuum? Like the freaking girl from the Phantom Troop, bro? Okay, maybe I spoke too soon because I had kind of written off the entire factory. I'm like, oh, they're revolting. It's going to be GG easy. But is she going to just suck them up with the vacuum? Better be a strong vacuum, man. Oh my gosh, guys. Stay focused, please. Dude, they're literally smirking right in front of you. He just put in earplugs. Oh. <laughs> I like how he's self-aware enough to be like, okay, so if I hear his lies, I'll be tricked. So I just have to just not even hear him talk. Oh my gosh, bro. The Tantanas are messes, man. That snail looks so sad. Release him into the wild. So wait, didn't they say when you release a transponder snail, like it, it can't be used as a phone anymore? Oh my gosh, they all have earplugs in. There's no way. Believe it or not, man. Well, the manager with the vacuum is going to show up. Oh my gosh, Muji. They all dipped. Open the doors, guys. Don't run. Why is that sign even there, man? No way they listened to- Dude, 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 dude. The Tentanas are gonna make me freaking peel my skin off. There's literally a giant sign that just says Manchuri. There's no- there, there, There's no way, bro. They- At least they know how gullible the Tentanas are and use it against them. Oh my god. No way that they actually- No way! Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, thank goodness. He just ignored it. It's just a storage room. Oh, she's gonna trap them in here. Oh, no, they're slowly wandering in. Bro, guys, just keep looking. My gosh. Okay, so there's a group of them still opening the door. Thank goodness. I thought they all turned and just booked it after Muji. Oh, my gosh. Meanwhile, Frankie just getting dicked down by Senor Pink. <laughs> Attaboy, Frankie. How are they even opening this? What are they using? What? Naturally has good he Does he really? Frankie ear. He heard the door. Oh. What? Granny having trouble in the bed. Wait, what? What is he saying? Is he trying to like appeal to him? Am I am I like tripping, man? Oh wait. He let go. What the what is going on? What? What just happened? Am I in the goddamn twilight zone? Should I understand? He just left. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure, man. Sure, man. Makes sense. What did he hear, though? He heard something. It's like he figured something out about Senor Pink. Oh, my gosh. Queen. Factory manager of the Smile Factory. 20 years old. Queen. Oh my, she's just smacking them. Guys, just all attack her at once. A vacuum is so funny, by the way. Like her knowing that she might need it for Tentatas. Just fight back, there's so many of you. Hey, could they not break out of it? It's just a bag. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's why you fight. Or are they gonna get it open and Frankie's gonna fight her? I don't know, I'm kind of stuck on Frankie convincing uh, Senor Pink to just leave. <gasps> it's open, it's open! Let's go! Yes! The music! Oh, shoot. Papa's here. Papa is here! Boom! Try and suck him up! Oh my god, the soundtrack was freaking crazy. Dude, I love Frankie's soundtrack so much, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, the fact that he's in too. I don't want to, but like, be too overconfident in Frankie. But I feel like he'll be able to take down Queen, and it's really gonna blow this whole thing open. But I, I just really am more confused about Senor Pink. Six ninety three. Let's go. Oh my gosh, bro! What? What is this hallway? What the hell was that? Oh my gosh, man! Papa's here. <laughs> 
Did she just stop sucking them up with the vacuum? Oh, dude, all the troops can get in now, too. Oh, my gosh. It's actually a jailbreak. Frankie, I know it's emotional. Stay on mission, man. Guys, why are we celebrating? Oh, my gosh. Take down the freaking manager. See, like, the thing is, like, this manager can't pose that much of a threat, right? There's so many of them and one of her. <sighs> All right, man. Listen, I know Muji cares about the princess. He's, he's a bit much, man. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> How would she be in the freaking glass bottle? Where did he even go, man? Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, Frankie, take her down. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Is she? <laughs> oh. The factory is my life. Dude, there's no way she puts up this much of a fight against Frankie, too. Like, she has just a vacuum, like a strong vacuum. Oh, wait, she's enormous. Never mind. I thought she was like the size of Frankie. She's like twice his size. Bro, this screen with Frankie in pink. Yeah, I kind of wanted to explain. Tough to live a hard-boiled life. Yeah, he really just figured out. Oh, like he figured out that he has like a weakness for like old women. I, I don't know. Or he just like has a soft spot. Oh, is he going to suplex her? But he just grabbed on the front. What is he doing? What is going on anymore, man? And why is there so much fog on plateau level three? It doesn't make sense. I mean, I didn't think it was going to be that bad until the perspective showed me how enor- Oh, wait. No, he's slicing them up like it's nothing. See, I feel like they're less intimidating because you can tell they're like struggling to even move. Like, dude, this group of fighters is so stupidly strong. How many are there? This cutback, man. Is he gonna try to like appeal to her emotional side? Like he did, I think, I think he did, Senor Pink. <laughs> Maybe Pink will explain. <laughs> the pose. Oh. I'm ready, bring it on. What? I think Frankie's lost it, man. Oh, he's coming back. He was just waiting for Ping to come back. That's why he's holding on to her. Wait, he's going to throw her into Senor Ping. Oh, he is suplex. Damn. He was just waiting for Ping to come back. Oh, my gosh. And use their heads against each other. Holy Giga Chad. Damn, he knew he would come back right away. He's floating. <laughs> Nah, he just pissed them off more. I was like, I'd be shocked if it took both of them down in one hit like that. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh no. What the f What am I watching? What am I watching? What am I watching? What am I watching? He's just making out with her. Bro, did he just recognize her as a romantic or something? What just happened? What is Frankie on, bro? The voice change. The pink is just face down in the pool. He's gonna drown. Someone help him. Bro, is it really that easy? Oh my gosh. Pushy much. Can't blame him. You cut into a fight between grown men. No, no she didn't. Bro. Pink is rubbing off on Frankie. They're like reaching a similar point. What is happening? They're becoming like one in the same. Hard boiled. Oh my gosh. I really don't know what hard boiled is, man. I really don't. I don't know if I ever will. I like how they're matching each other's energy, though. It's so funny. The final showdown between the two manliest men. Let's baby. Is it? Am I? Oh, am I in a freeze frame? Oh. <laughs> Bro really neutralized the factory manager with one kiss. Du what the? Oh my gosh! What the hell is happening, bro? 
Like this is the most one piece, one piece fight I've ever seen. You know what that means and I don't have to explain it. Yes! No, dude. I wanted to stay there. I know they're gonna beat these dolls, man. They're just dolls. No, oh, and then we're back to Zoro and Pika. My God, we're just speed running, aren't we? Checking in with people. Dude, I don't think Zoro has stopped smiling this entire fight. That's how like on top of things he is. Oh, a phone call. Oh, Mauji. Oh my gosh, bro. Why is he acting like she's like dead? They just can't find her. Just keep looking, bro. Oh my gosh. What does calling Leo and crying do? Like Leo is 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 actively working and then Muji can't find her and he just like gives up. That's the difference between them. Leo is him. I mean, this country is also enormous, bro. Could take a while. Let's be in the palace. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting about how busted her ability is too. Yeah, true, actually. Dude, dude. Yeah, actually though, why did she not already try this? Sanji would kill for your ability. That's such a random throwaway line. That's her lover, man. Dude, it's so busted, man. It's so busted. Oh, get him on! Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> the way he like slowly shifted up. Let's go. They're all together. Dude, please get off that poor bird, man. It's struggling. Please, bro. Look at it, man. Just get off it, Gonjaro. Please. It's dead. I like Gonjaro's design a lot. It's so unique. Long nosed goblin, man. <laughs> Uh, for them to climb up? Oh my gosh. It's so horribly drawn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How foolish I've been. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was gonna stab himself with a paintbrush. Dude, I really like Gonjuro. Oh, she's searching. Was it that hallway at the very beginning of the episode? And she was like crying? Oh, I guess that would make sense. It looked like in like a dungeon then, man. It's gotta be like deep in the palace. Her ability. Wait. We need that Wait, what is Monsterie's ability? I thought she was just the princess. Oh, shoot. Okay, so that's why she'd be captain. No, that makes more sense. No, wait, that, that's what the hallway looked like. Or the walls from the very beginning. Yeah, right here. Oh, so that was Manchuri. Whoa, whoa. Oh my God, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So insanely locked away. I just wanna know what her ability is. Oh, that is who was, oh, okay. That makes the, the beginning of this make way more sense. Dang, bro, in the depths of the palace. At least they know. Oh, there's Manchuri. She's so small. She could definitely slip through those bars, by the way. The question is, <clears throat> what is her ability and how would Del Flamingo use it? What are her cheeks? Oh, she's calling for Leo. Okay, now like our site knows exactly where she is. But this entire time, I haven't been like that worried about where she was because I genuinely thought it was more just like a name. Like she's the princess. So like she means a lot to the Tentatas, but clearly it's even more than that. Like she actually has an ability that's of use to both Doflamingo or them. But I wonder what it could be. It can't be like power. It has to be something more like Violet's power where it's information or knowledge because Doflamingo uh, on his own is very, very, very very strong and he uses people around him like especially sugar where she was able to turn people into toys in very meticulous ways but even more so this development of frankie and senor pink is the most unexpected one i think throughout the entirety of dress rosa like frankie like i said i feel like they're becoming more like each other slowly but surely like i don't think frankie before this would have ever kissed the manager of the factory just to like stop her from attacking it's so bizarre
are. And I want to see more of it just to see where they're going with this because it's very confusing to me. Like Frankie, sort of, like I said, appealing to Senor Pink's like emotional side, tricking him into thinking there was a grandma that needed his help. It's very bizarre. It's like they figured each other out and they're kind of at a standstill here. But the fight onwards continues. I think my least favorite part about it so far is the fight against these giant soldiers because I, whenever it feels lifeless like that or like they are puppets, there's less oomph behind it, even though they are kind of creepy how fast they move. But I guess we'll see how it resolves soon. Guys, that's been it for my reaction today. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure you leave a like on this one. It does help me out quite a bit. And I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.